Something now may become emotional as Oni of Ife beg her in tears to please give him the opportunity to wed her in church in order to make the wives understand the position she occupies in his life. Welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, okay? And turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new content. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Information reaching us right now, allegedly, is that uh, when Naomi was so emotional, you know, according to the information, they said the king came to her. And she gave him the opportunity to hold his, to hold her, her hands and beg her to please give him the opportunity to wed her in church, you know. There was a time they said she begged, uh, he begged her to give him this opportunity. And that was when he promises that uh, he is not going to sp uh, start the year 2024 without Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawo in his palace. And that was exactly when he started with this uh, decision of uh, telling the wives to go get a house outside while she buy the house for them to relocate so that his wife, Queen Naomi, and the uh, Prince Tadenikawo will return back to the palace. They say why the king was in tears begging uh, his wife, Quinami, the said Quinami too, was so emotional. But in as much as uh, she is emotional, they said she asked the king one question that he is unable to answer. You know, a lot of people are saying the wife should leave the palace, this and that. The fact remains that it is going to be very, very difficult. Reason is because the women, they are powerful women who, you see those ones that he married. Hmm. They are not just ordinary women that he can say, Oh yeah, leave the palace and they will start living. No. They must fight. And fight. And that is exactly what is happening. And again, we do know that there are some elders who are solidly behind them. Especially those of them who are planted into that palace by some elders. Because we do know that this uh, a far wife's marriage to the king is initiated by some of these elders you know so and these same elders are the ones who will make sure that the oloris did not leave the palace unless the king stood his ground you know to do some of the things that he's not supposed to do before this one should leave but if he continued being linear to them being so soft they are not going to leave that palace but it's not as if he's not fighting to see that they leave. He is trying his best. Now, the reason he wanted to wed Queen Naomi in church is so, so that the women will know that uh, he values Queen Naomi more than all of them. They will understand their position in his life, you know. He believes so much that the moment Queen Naomi allows him to wed her in church, that uh, the women might decide to live on their own <laughs> but that's a, a how will i put it i don't think it's going to happen because they know that when Naomi is there they know that the king loves when Naomi so much and they enter that marriage they are not going to live oh, unless by god's intervention because we do know there is nothing the lord cannot do so they said when Naomi asked the king do you think this marriage is the problem here this wedding that the wedding is not the problem that the problem is that she is not safe. She doesn't feel safe. That she doesn't feel safe in your palace any longer. And this, your son, the only son of the king, Prince Tadenikawo, that his safety too is not guaranteed in that palace. That if you wed uh, her, that she is not ready to go and start uh, competing with these uh, oloris in the palace. That that is something he, she's not prepared and is not even preparing to do. So, she is not the problem. And allowing you or giving you the opportunity to wed her is not the problem. But the problem is that uh, her sanity is matters a lot to her. 
and her safety and that of Prince Dadenika also matters a lot to her. And she's not cut out for competition of any type with the wives. She in bed with her. Hey, my people. No be smart though, no be smart. Then a lot of people are saying that the king wanted Queen Nomi to go and wed him so that uh, he would tie her down the more. Because he believes so much that since he had promised that coming this 2024 that Queen Nomi is going to return back to the palace before now and he's unable to achieve that, that a lot of people are going to encourage Queen Nomi to uh, leave the king and move on with her life. You know, maybe that's why he is coming for uh, trying to convince Queen Nomi to marry him in church. Hey, <laughs> they say no be smart, you know. I don't know what you think, but to me, oh, I think the king is just only trying to uh, make sure that Queen Nomi did not leave him. And I also pray that Queen Nomi will not leave him. But on the other hand, is Queen Nomi safe in the palace? I don't know. I don't just know. I don't just know. To me, do you know what I, I I'm just I'm suggesting? I don't my and although my suggestion might not matter, but I believe if if I'm to say, I would say that the best thing for them to do is let the two of them reunite, wedding or no wedding. They should start making babies. Economy can remain outside the palace. At the right time, she will return back to the palace because if the palace is meant for her, hey. <laughs> Surely she's going to return back. And a lot of prophecies and uh, revelations have revealed that the same way the uh, women enter the palace is the same way they are going to leave the palace. That it took, uh, a time will come when it, was, it is going to be only one woman standing. And that person is going to be Queen Naomi. Because he is the only, only one with a son for the king. So I don't know what to think. What are you thinking? But they said the king was begging. Begging in tears. Oh my goodness. The kind of love that the king have for Queen Naomi, eh? and God have destined that that love will be there, and that is why he decided to give uh, a son to uh, to the king through Queen Naomi. Because one thing is certain, Queen Naomi is not the first wife of the king. Neither is she the second. Yes, so from my findings, she is the third. Yes, and God have decided to bless her with a son. That means God wanted her to be in that palace. And I believe that with time she's going to return back to the palace. So all the king needs to do is to be a nice to Queen Naomi and Prester Denika and avoid those things that will make her sad. I know that with time God is going to make a way. Anyways guys, when I saw this I said I should come and share with you. Okay, Don't forget that all alleged information. I do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Okay? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it. May God bless you. Bye for now. Love you guys.